Okay, what is going on guys? Hope you are all doing well. I am currently in Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, I am at Bitter Lake National Wildlife Refuge and there's all these different pools of water and there's tons of waterfowl here. This is like a birder's paradise. So right now I'm just kind of sitting away from the uh, from one of the pools here just so the the waterfall will get a little bit more comfortable with me and then I want to try and get myself closer and lower to the ground so that's the deal right now I'm gonna sit here for probably at least another 10 minutes just so they get a little bit more comfortable with me and then uh, I want to try and sneak my way in chilly this morning uh, there were some clouds the sun's coming out when that Sun comes out boy it gets hot here in New Mexico really quickly oh, oh. No, I'm missing I'm missing the video here because I'm yapping But yeah, the sun is coming out behind me here. It gets hot. But anyways, this place is amazing. This is my second day here. It was cloudy last night. I came for sunset to try and get photos. I didn't have much luck yesterday for sunset with the light. But anyways, this, this is great. So I'm gonna try and make my way in closer. Stop talking. I'm able to get a little bit closer in and uh, now I'm just going to work my way to possibly even getting closer in. There's a spot up there but I don't know how that's going to go. I'm going to at least stay here for like 15-20 minutes but the light is starting to get really harsh but it doesn't matter. <coughs> Doesn't matter. Being out in nature. Ooh, look at this guy. Beautiful, beautiful. There's so much hair. This is great. Alright, I gotta focus on working. So now I'm focusing in a little bit more on photography. I got a super fast shutter speed because it's getting sunny out here. I want to get some birds in flight. So I'm at 6400 of a shutter speed. I'm probably going to fluctuate between, you know, 6400 and 5000. Keep my aperture as open as I can, 5.6 to 6.3 on this lens. And I just have ISO set to automatic. With this much light, there's no reason to have to adjust your ISO. 90% of the time I shoot in auto ISO. Oh, damn it. That's why I don't put out as many videos as I probably should because when I'm talking to the camera, I miss the shots. Let's try and get some photos.
All right, so I managed to get a little bit closer now, but I'm still not at ground level with them, which is the next step. That's the thing when you're approaching any type of wildlife, you gotta be slow, you gotta be gentle. Uh, that's just the way it is. There is so much down here. Oh, there he is. Really far away. Look at that guy. I am all the way in at 600 right now. And I have my crop because I'm 4K60. That's how far away this guy is. Still beautiful. It's amazing. It's too far away. They're just so far away. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can't see because of the sun. Oh. oh, God, this place is great. I was never into it. Ten years ago, I'd go out for landscapes. I never even thought about doing wildlife. Pandemic came, couldn't go nowhere. Used my 7300 I was using for uh, weddings. I said, let me just start photographing birds. Let me see if I like this. I fell in love. far away so I'm gonna try and get in closer to these guys see if that works not sure what type of vlog this is going to be. It doesn't have the best storyline to it, but I just wanted to make a video and show you guys where I am. You have some great video and images of these beautiful ducks and, uh, and birds. But um, I don't know. With that being said, I guess I'll end the video now. The sun is really up high. The light is harsh, and I'm starting to get hot. Stay tuned for the next video because I am going to make my way up into National Forest and then I'm going down to um, White Sand Dunes National. Is it White Sand Dunes? White Sands National Park? So I'm going to head down there do some landscape photography. I don't know what that noise is. Hopefully I get some good light down there, some sunrises and sunsets. So, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video.